Welcome to Adipedia World Grade 10 Computer Science Video Lecture Series. I am Upeka Vendibuna and this is the part 3 of Binary Arithmetic. From the previous two episodes for the binary arithmetic, we learned about binary addition and binary subtraction. From this episode, we are going to learn how to do binary multiplication as well as binary division. Let's start with the multiplication. The rules for the binary multiplication are 0 multiplied by 0 is 0, 0 multiplied by 1 is 0, 1 multiplied by 0 is 0, and 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. It is simple as that, like we do in decimal numbering system. Now let's try out few questions to understand this more perfectly. The problem says multiply 1101 one, with 1010. One, for the first operand we say multiply and, and for the second operand we say multiply. So let's write down these numbers. The multiplicand is 1, 1, 0, 1. The multiplier is 1, 0, 1, 0. Now we have to multiply this. We first start with this bit, 0. As 0 multiplied by anything, it is always 0. So we put 4 zeros in here. And then to start the next row, first we have to put another 0. It is same as like we do in decimal numbering multipliers. And then we start this bit. 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. 1 multiplied by 0 is 0. 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. And here it is again 1. And the third row. And this time we have to put two zeros and then start with this bit as it is zero everything is zero and for the next row we have to put three zeros and then start multiply by this bit so here one multiplied by one is one one multiplied by zero is zero one multiplied by one is one and here again one now we have to sum up all these numbers here it is 0 here it is 1 here it is all 0 and here 1 plus 1 is 0 and we have to carry the 1 to the forward and that 1 and this 1 it is 0 and we have to carry the 1 to the next front and that 1 and this 1 it is 0 again and carry the other 1 to the left front and that one and this one it is again zero and we have to carry the one to the left front so the answer is something like this okay now let's try out another example with binary points remember this dot is called the binary point as it is in a binary number if it is in a decimal number we call this decimal point as now it is in the binary number, it is a binary point. Now it says multiply 0 0.101 with 0 0.11. Now let's write down these numbers. The multiplicand is 0101 0, 1, and the binary point is in here. The multiplier is 0, 1, 1, and the binary point is in here. Now we have to multiply these two numbers. We start from this bit. 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. 1 multiplied by 0 is 0. 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. And 1 multiplied by 0 is 0. Now for the second row. We start from putting a 0. And then from this bit. 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. 1 multiplied by 0 is 0. 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. And 1 multiplied by 0 is 0. And now for the third row. We put two zeros and start from this bit. As zero multiplied by anything is zero, we put all the zeros in here. And now let's sum up all these numbers. 
here it is 1 and the second position it is also a 1 and again it is a 1 and then again it is a 1 and they are all zeros. In the multiplicand it has three binary points. In the multiplier it has two binary points and altogether 3 plus 2 the answer should contain five binary points. Now here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and we have to put the binary point in here. So this is the answer. 0 0.011111 is the answer for this multiplication problem. As you already know, computers can do only additions. So each and every calculation is performed as a form of a summation. If we want to multiply, say, 3 multiplied by 7, then it will find the result either by adding 3 7 times or 7 3 times. And also, these calculations will be done using their corresponding binary values. Now, in present day, some of the advanced computers use another very interesting method. Suppose we want to find the product of, say, 15 multiplied by 10. Now, we go on dividing the first number, the number 15, by 2, and write down the quotient part unless it reduces to number 1. In consequence, we go on multiplying the second number, the number 10, by 2, and write down their values. And at the end, we get the sum of all the right hand side values whose left hand side number is odd. Let's take the example 15 multiplied by 10 and go through the process. We first start from the 15, it is an odd number. We divide 15 by 2, the quotient is 7, it is also an odd number. We divide 7 by 2, the quotient is 3 and it is also an odd number. We divide 3 by 2, the quotient is 1, it is also an odd number. As it is a 1, we stop right there and go to the right hand side. We start from the 10 and we multiply it by 2, the answer is 20. And we multiply 20 by 2, the answer is 40. And we multiplied 40 by 2, the answer is 80. In the left hand side, it has only 4 rows. Therefore, for the right hand side, we only go through 4 rows. Therefore, we stop by 80. Now, we are going to sum up all the numbers in the right hand side, where the corresponding left hand side numbers are odd numbers. 10, 20, 40, 80. And it is equal to 150. 15 multiplied by 10 is also 150. And that's how computers perform multiplication calculations. It is an additive method. Let's take another example to clarify more on this. 12 multiplied by 13. In the left hand side, we start from 12. It is an even number. We divide 12 by 2. The quotient is 6. It is also an even number. We divide 6 by 2. The quotient is 3. It is an odd number. We divide 3 by 2. The quotient is 1. And it is also an odd number. And we stop right there. And here, in the left hand side, we got four rows. For the right hand side, that means 13. We start from 13 and we multiply 13 by 2, the answer is 26. And we multiply 26 by 2, the answer is 52. And we multiply 52 by 2, the answer is 104. And we stop right there as we come up to four rows. And now for the odd numbers, 3 and 1, we add 52 and 104. The answer is 156. So 12 multiplied by 13 is equal to 156. Okay, now let's move on to our last calculation, binary division. For the binary division, the rules are 0 divided by 1 is 0 and 1 divided by 1 is 1. Other conditions like 1 divided by 0 and 0 divided by 0 are meaningless. So here these two rules we have to remind. It is same like the decimal division. So there is nothing difficulty in here. To understand this more perfectly, let's try out few questions. 1 1 1 0 1 1 divided by 1 0 1. First of all we write it down like this. 0 1 1 divided by 101 
now like as in the decimal division we put 1 in here and 1 multiplied by 101 is 101 and we are going to subtract this number and this number 1 subtract by 1 is 0 1 subtracted by 0 is 1 now we are going to brought this down the bit into here and it is 100 zero zero. now we are going to find the division between 100 zero zero and 101 it is 0 and we are going to brought down this bit over here now it is 100 zero zero 1 and then we can put 1 in here and 1 multiplied by 101 one is 101 one. and we are going to subtract these two numbers 1 minus 1 0 0 minus 0 0 0 minus 1 we had to carry this one in here and it is 1 so here it is 100 zero zero. now we are going to brought down this bit over here it is 1 so 1 multiplied by 101 one is 101 one. now we are going to subtract these two numbers 0 0 and here it is 1 so this is the quotient and this is the reminder let's try out another example 1 1 0 0 1 0 0 divided by 1 0 0 let's write it down like this 1 1 0 0 1 0 0 divided by 1 0 0 it has three bits so we have to put something in the third position it is 1 1 multiplied by 1 0 0 is 1 0 0 and we have to subtract these two numbers 0 minus 0 is 0 1 minus 0 is 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0 now we have to bring down this 0 to here now we have to find the quotient for 100 zero zero. it is 1 so 1 multiplied by 100 zero zero is 100 zero zero. if we subtract these two numbers it is 0 now we have to bring down this 1 into here and find out whether the quotient can we have we cannot have any quotient it is 0 and now we have to bring down this 0 to here and again we have to find any quotient but we cannot it is 0 and again we have to bring down this 0 to here and this time the quotient is 1 1 multiplied by 100 zero zero is 100 zero zero, and the reminder is 0 the answer is 11001 zero zero okay now you may be wonder how does the computer perform divisions because it can only perform additions well actually the computer does it in terms of the subtractions and further it led into additions i'll use an example to demonstrate this suppose we want to divide 9 by 2 we first take the 9 reduce 2 from it the answer is 7 this is our first subtraction in the second subtraction we take the 7 and reduce 2 from it the answer is 5 in the third subtraction we take the 5 and reduce 2 from it the answer is 3 in the fourth subtraction we take the 3 and reduce 2 from it the answer is 1 and we stop right there because 1 is lesser than 2 and this 1 is the reminder and the quotient will be equal to the number of subtractions so here it is 4 when 9 is divided by 2 the quotient will be 4 and the remainder would be 1 so that's how it works but computer also cannot perform subtractions it performs subtractions by using additive methods with one's complement method and two's complement method if you can remember we discussed about this matter in the part one of this series binary arithmetic so this division calculation is further reduced into additive methods using those. Up to this point we have learned binary addition, binary subtraction, binary multiplication and binary division. All the examples that we have tried out had the same base operands. But what would happen if we have mixed base operands in our expression? For example something like this. This number is a hexadecimal number, this number is an octal number. And this number is a decimal number. We cannot continue like this. 
all the elements should be converted into a common base. The easiest base is the binary. So here we are converting each of the numbers into a binary number. As we have learned through the previous episodes of this section data representation, let's try to convert this hexadecimal number A5. We had to write down A and 5 separately and convert each of them into an equivalent binary number. 5 is 0101. A that means 10. It is equivalent to 1010. So A5 can be represented as 1010 So this is the binary representation of hexadecimal number A5. Then we have to convert the second number which is an octal number 1, 2, 3, 4. And this time we have to use 3 bit sets. For the number 4 it is 1, 0, 0. For the number 3 it is 0, 1, 1. For the number 2 0, 1, 0. Number 1 is 0, 0, 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4 can be represented as 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. As we can reduce these two zeros, it is more correct to say 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. With that, I guess you were able to refresh your memory on the conversion process of hexadecimal and octal to binary form. For the hexadecimal, it uses 4 bit sets. For the octal, it uses 3 bit sets. So with that, you could remember how the conversion process is going on. And now for the third number, which is a decimal number, we have to use the division by 2 process. Here, 125 divided by 2. The quotient is 62 and the remainder is 1. Now we divide 62 by 2, the quotient is 31 and the remainder is 0. Now we divide 31 by 2, the quotient is 15 and the remainder is 1. Now we divide 15 by 2, the quotient is 7 and the remainder is 1 and we divide 7 by 2, the quotient is 3 and the remainder is 1. Then we divide 3 by 2, the quotient is 1 and the remainder is also 1. And then we take all the reminders and that would be the binary form of 125. So in the reverse order the reminders are 1111101. Now we have to sum up all these binary numbers. We should start from the rightmost bit. 1 plus 1 is 0 and we have to carry forward the other one to the left front. And with that one and these zeros, it is 1. And for the third position, 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. And with that 1, 0 and this one, it is 1, 1. We put 1 here and carry forward the other one. And with that one and this one, it is 1, 0. And with that 1, 0 and this one, it is 1, 1. We put 1 here and carry forward the other one. And with that one and this one, it is 1, 0. And with that one zero and this one it is one one we put one here and carry forward the other one and with that one and this one it is one zero that one zero and this one it is one one we put one here and carry forward the other one and with that one and this one it is one zero we put zero here and carry forward the other one and with that one and this one it is one zero and that one zero and this one it is one one put one here and carry forward the other one and then that one and these zeros it is one and then one plus these zeros is one so that's how we can solve this kind of mixed base questions and with that we are going to end up the part binary arithmetic as well as the section data representation in this episode we have learned how the computer performs the multiplication operation as well as the division operation. And also we have learned how to solve an expression with mixed base. So from the next episode we are going to start a new section called algorithms. Thank you for watching and stay tuned on with Edupedia World.